Hey guys, um, this is uh, Cashman1501 and I'm back with a review of two amazing guns right now. Um, these are guns that I've been working on. Um, I've been working on this one for the past week and I've been working on this one for the past few years. So um, yeah, um, basically what I'm going to be doing is sort of giving you an overview of the gun and the internals. Um, I'll start off with this one. Uh, this is a KWA KM4 RIS, as you can see right there. Um, that's where the gun was stock, but we've put on a few other things. We got the Magpul our, uh, handguard, we got the Magpul grip, we got the Gamtech silencer on it or suppressor, we got the, uh, I forget what this is called, Leapers uh, scope. Um, Sort of like a mid-range uh, scope. We got the KWA, KWA uh, crane stock on it. Um, as you can see on the other side, uh, we got the lipo. Uh, I think it's like a 3,000 million lipo. Um, Dean's connectors. Um, basically, that's it for the externals. Um, Internal-wise, we got a KWA. Uh, motor is a little bit older um, but we will be putting a uh, GMP M180 uh, double jet or something like that motor into it um, which will increase the rate of fire like ridiculously <laughs> it's, it will be amazing um, internally we have an SHS piston um, the piston is made of really good steel um, best piston I've ever seen in my life holds up thousands of rounds hundred thousands of rounds and just still looks perfectly new when you pull it out of the gearbox um, we got an M133 in here we have a upgraded gears for what kind they are um, and we got a 6.01 uh, Mad Bull air aluminum aircraft uh, metal barrel inner barrel inside of there 6.01 so it's going to be extreme really really good accuracy all right um that's basically it for that one uh now on to my personal gun um this is a gun that i've been working on for somebody else so this is my personal gun um, as you can see on the front hold on one second as you can see on the front i have a custom made sort of spiky uh, melee <laughs> flash hider that we won't, I won't really, I'll try not to use in a real game, airsoft game, but um, might hurt somebody. But uh, we got a Surefire flashlight, I have Mag Magpul uh, Emba sights, I got a Magpul AFG grip, got a Magpul PMAG, got a Magpul Magpul, <laughs> got a Magpul grip, got a Magpul um, trigger guard, I polished this uh, trigger to make it look silver. Uh, it looks pretty nice, as you can see. Um, put a uh, crayon, did the crayon job inside of this to make it uh, colored, safe, semi uh, red. Um, got an EOTech. This is a replica EOTech. It was about 50 bucks and it is actually very good quality and it's very nice. Well, I wouldn't say it's very good quality, but I say it's very nice, and it's been holding up for about a year now. Um, this is an aim point, not real aim point, but it's a aim point replica. Uh, flip the side um, magnifier. I'll show you how it does that in a second. Goes pull it back, and you flip it over. So and there's a really cool. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. So, yeah, it looks pretty nice. Um, then, on this side, I have to have an external battery pouch because of the size of the LiPo, um, which kind of sucks, but it's uh, it's worth it with the rate of fire that it's getting, which you will see in the uh, shooting review. Um, right here, I have 
it, what it's called is a Murph Gate three or two point uh, tactical or not tactical but um MOSFET. Um, it's wired up through the gearbox, so you do have to do some soldering. But it is about sixty bucks, and it's really really nice. Um, I got a Magpul sticker on it. Uh, looks kind of cool. Magpul sight. That's basically it for the externals. Um, internal wise, I got an SHS piston, like the other one. I have a JG motor, which is kind of surprising despite the rate of fire that it's getting. Um, it's really actually nice, pretty nice. Then I have uh, I have M140 spring in here. And I also have, uh, what was I gonna say? Um, I have upgraded trigger. Uh, uh, well, trigger grouping, or, um, it's called trigger mechanism, trigger assembly in here, um, because the old one burnt out because of the lipo. So I wouldn't use the gun stock with a lipo, which is not very efficient, and it'll probably screw your gun up. So this is a bunch of internal upgrades. Um, I think I forgot some, but I don't remember them right now. Um, but I'll be showing you a shooting review in a second. Okay guys, um, there's a few little things I want to say before I start this shooting review. Um, mainly, these guns are extremely upgraded. Um, the performance that you'll see out of these things is going to be hard to get unless you spend a lot of money putting, it, putting into these guns. Um, basically, the high rate of fire, the crazy FPS, those are all due to spring upgrades and um, lipo battery upgrades um, you can get these for I mean you can spend the money on these but in order to use them effectively and have a long lasting gun you're gonna need to do tons of uh, shimming internal just basically really fine tuning the gun making sure it'll run smoothly um, so I got the two KDOAs out here um, the wires are on the outside because I've been working on it, so I just didn't feel like putting through the inside of the tube. Um, we all got them hooked up to LiPos, 11.1 uh, .1 volt, 1200, uh, or I think it's like 3000, and then for that one, and 2000 for this one. So here's the uh, review, the shooting review. Alright, we are starting off with the uh, gun, KWA. SR10, uh, I think. It's a mix between a few different guns, but um, this is the gun that I've been working on recently. So it is. Uh, there's a bunch of internal upgrades with gears and stuff. Um, there is the stock KWA motor, so that's why you'll be getting a little bit lower rate of fire. Um, this is a little bit older motor that I have in here, so the light it doesn't really depict what it should be shooting, how fast it should be shooting. But um, we're running a 130 spring, M130 spring in here, so about 420 FPS. Um, so check it out. And just to remind you, this is from 100 feet back in my backyard, so that's pretty good accuracy. Alright, this is a retake of the full auto because I kind of forgot to do it in the first at daytime, so here we go. So, there you go. Alright, once again, this is the gun that I've been working on for a friend. So, um, I've been working on this for a while, trying to figure out some of the problems that I was having. But I finally got it fixed. Um, as you can see, the accuracy is very, very good um, at 100 feet. And this is about a effective range of about 175 to almost 200 feet. And I've done that on other tests of farther distances. But um, I'm not going to do that today. 
Um, I do it later. But on to the next gun, which is my personal gun that I have been working on forever. So this may be the first time you guys have seen it, um, other than the little sneak peek I showed in the beginning. So, all right, here she is. Um, as you have guys have already seen, I'm like you guys already know basically all the externals that I've showed you. Um, now this is the performance test. Um, I got a actually I got a G and G or JG high torque motor in here, which is I want to change out, but it's it's working pretty well right now. Um, I got a lipo 12 or uh, 230 2300 milliamp. Um, I got point. Actually, I'm gonna change the mag. I got a .25s, running .25s as in the other shooting review too. Um, this is from 100 feet, and I'm will be using my EO check. All right. All right. Why is that not working? All right, here we go. Full auto. That's crazy. Well, I hope that gave you guys a uh, better understanding of what the uh, engineering and um, sort of upgrade that you need to do to uh, obtain a very well-performing gun like this. Um, I will be making a, another video soon about um, a upgrade sort of uh, AEG fixing service that I'll be giving you guys um, or I'll be providing for you people. Um, I uh, currently work at Balahack Airsoft um, behind the counter helping people out with uh, gun issues and stuff so you can I do have sort of a background I have worked on these things for about five years now four or five years now um, I know what I'm doing. I have a friend that has even more experience than me working on these things that he'll be helping me out too. So um, I'll be making a video of that soon and um, basically just to uh, provide another service other than sending your gun to a manufacturer or a retailer um, and it'll obviously be a little bit lower price. Our, our prices will be lower prices than uh, retailers or um, manufacturers um, mainly because if you have a KWA and you've had it for longer than a month or two months then your warranty is expected so um, you can't really send it back to KWA I mean I guess you can but you have to pay extra charges um, so what we're trying to do is just help you guys out um, so either we can have your gun shipped to us or you can come to Airsoft or Balhack um, the field and we will pick the gun up and um, fix it for you at home and then bring it back whenever we want or whenever you need us to bring it back and we can meet you up meet yeah all right um that's it stay tuned for the new video thanks also for another side note um, look for a upcoming review of this gun um, it's a new KS or a KWA Glock um, I sold my other one and I got this one. So, um, it's worked really good, but stay tuned for a new review of this. Thanks.